Hi everyone, it's Giselle with a message for today. I would like to talk about why we feel fearful and how we rid ourselves of that. I was inspired after listening to some Abraham Hicks this evening and there were so many things that got brought up that inspired me so much that I'm going to post more videos after this one but of course I don't want to overwhelm you and also I don't want you to have to listen through videos that may not interest you or may not be right for you at this time. So if there's a title that you see and you think, ah, that's not for me right now, don't click on it and I'll keep them short and sweet and to the point of this particular video. Also, before I get started, it's the final um, 33, up to 33% because it's some of them are 25%, some 20%, but they're pretty good deals. Basically, it was part of my sum book. Oh, I still can't say it. Cyber Monday offer. If you still wanted to get some discounted reading packages, it's still on my website until midnight um, for the 30th of November. So anyway, let's talk about this topic of what is fear. When we feel fearful, it's actually a sign that we are not in alignment with what our soul our heart desires and the fear itself is not what is causing the blockage the fear itself is the indicator that there is something we are thinking in opposition to what it is that we're truly wanting um abraham explained it so beautifully I'm just trying to paraphrase here. So I'll try to apply this to the twin flame journey. I know a lot of new twins have joined my channel. Welcome all of you. And a lot of people have asked me similar questions. And I think that this video will apply to you whether you're new or you've been on this journey for a while. Sometimes it's just good to be reminded of things or to just hear them in a different way. And therefore it gives you... um. A different perspective which may be more helpful hopefully more helpful that's all I always intend is to give the best help that I can offer because I don't want to just sit here and ramble on and bring out useless content of course not so um, the fear that we feel as twin flames especially at the beginnings of our journey is that that person may not come back to us and if we don't do this, if we don't act like that, if we don't appease them and please them and do everything that they want, we fear that they're going to run away from us. But really, we are doing ourselves a disservice. A, by stepping into that fear and giving in to that fear. And B, by not honouring and loving, respecting ourselves first. And I know I went through the exact same thing, but my intention with these videos is to help you navigate your journey a lot more efficiently and kind of avoid the pitfalls that we, that I've had to go through certainly, and a lot of clients of mine that have kind of been on this journey around the same um Time is me, I would... Time is tricky, isn't it? I mean, someone could be on a journey for 20 years and, and be stagnant for that time. Someone can whiz through in a matter of months. But I would say it's, you know, it's something that we all kind of experience at the beginning. It is, do I say yes when I should be saying no? Or do I stand up for myself and risk them running off? The thing is, if you appease all the time, but you are feeling in your heart that you're giving your power and your energy away, then you're not doing either of you a favour. A lot of this journey, and I have seen a pattern because I've worked with over hundreds of people. I, I can't quite keep tabs of all of the clients because I've had so many over the years that I've been practising my intuitive intuitive you know spiritual coaching but also through my twin flame channel i must have at least spoken to at least a hundred or more twin flames i can't 
honestly, I'll have to look through all my contacts. And because the thing with that is sometimes someone only needs one session. Sometimes people like to have weekly updates. Some some of them, <laughs> I used to talk to this one of my clients about <laughs> every other day, practically. We did make a lot of progress in that time. And I'm very proud of her. You know who you are if you're listening. Um, but you see, people need different help at different times. So, so <laughs> between the people who've only spoke to one time and my regular clients, I have definitely spoken to over 100 people easily. And one pattern that I recognize is that of what do I do at the beginning? Do I try to appease them? Or do I risk them going and leaving me? That's that's kind of the most recognisable, really, in every single journey, is that, do I contact? Do I not contact? If I don't contact, does that mean that they'll run away from me? It's It's that fearful, what do I do? And the thing is, I know it's awfully tricky and I've fallen down this myself you know this little pitfall you have to really before you do anything the best thing you can do is do a clearing meditation so that you clear out that fear go into your heart and let that guide you if your heart feels closed off to the contact it means that you need to take some time out for yourself Basically, what you are doing is you are linking to Source. And you are allowing Source to tell you, right, now is not the time if you're feeling closed off. Or now is the perfect time if you're feeling open. And you just really need to trust that guidance. And trust that everything is happening for a reason. And a lot of people don't see the benefit of separation, basically. But separation is, is an illusion, of course. We're only separate on the physical. But in reality... <laughs> sorry, I'm trying to find my words to not confuse you. But in actuality, we are not separate. We are always one. We are always connected anyway. And you will feel them. If this is actually your true love, you will feel them even when you are not talking, when you're maybe even blocked, when you're living in different countries, no matter where you are, you will feel them spiritually, always connected. So the fear is an indicator that you are not in alignment. And it is actually a good thing that you're feeling fearful because it's this warning signal saying hold on a moment you're not in alignment you must bring yourself back down from this fear or rise up however you want to see it and align with love act from love because if you notice that if you act out of fear you tend to shoot yourself in the foot a lot you tend to do the wrong thing say the wrong thing you know but if you act out of love, you will be strong and steady and confident and knowing that you've done the right thing and that everything happens for a reason. Everything happens to progress you, to grow you. Sometimes that physical plane separation is needed, but essentially you are always connected on a spiritual level anyway. And I will go into further detail about how to align and that forever open spiritual connection. But I hope that this video has helped you. And if you would like to connect with me and find that I could possibly help you for your personal circumstances, then of course, all my details are in the description box. I thank you all so very much for watching and have a beautiful day. Namaste.